Explorers, today is the day. Have you ever had a place that you always wanted to go to, you always wanted to do something and someone tells you you can't do it or it's impossible for whatever reason? Well, that's like this spot, this place that we're going to. I've been wanting to go here for so long, over two years, but there was always factors playing a role on why I couldn't go that would stop me from going. No one could just walk to this island. No one could just take a boat to this island. There's so much more to that and it's really complex and I'm not gonna get into that. All I'm saying is that we're going on this island. This could either be really bad or it could be really good. Now, there's only a handful of people that have ever been on this, this, on this island and grats to you guys. But now I'm going on this island. And this ain't even about the views. This is about just me having to go here. Like I have to go here, it's a must. And people that urban explore, they know how this feels. So, let's do this. I just rolled up to the port now. This is where the adventure begins. super dark right now like I said uh, I don't pre-dawn videos like this too often except for the most rarest spots we can ever do I'm really nervous right now <sighs> rise above The wall, the wall of Battleship Island. We gotta head to a different area right now. We're going. Unbelievable. All right, first building we're going into right now is the hospital. Again, everything's really destroyed, everything's gutted, but it's the history here, it's the island, it's, it's everything I've always wanted to do and see is here. The whole atmosphere, the vibes. At its peak, there was over 5,500 workers here. So you can imagine how much people needed x-rays and, and stuff due to asbestos and anything else that happened due to injuries in general. Stacks and stacks of their x-rays. All employers, everything, family members. See, this is to block the radiation from hitting you. The 
The place opened up in 1890. Mitsubishi actually bought this place out and used it for a coal mine area. They found out there was coal on this island uh, like five years ago and because the coal mining industry was booming, Mitsubishi was doing a whole bunch of stuff besides cars. And one of them was coal mining. So they ended up uh, building here on this island a structure, like a whole city for coal mining. And, it was, and it's crazy because one of the buildings here was the first uh, tower block. Uh, pretty much a skyscraper to ever be built in Japan it was built here obviously if there's money going somewhere if there's money to be made people will do anything especially corporations to make it big now like I said at its peak there was 5,500 people everything was fine here until World War II happened when World War II happened they started taking prisoners of war and putting them here but so many of them here stacking them up making them work as slaves here and then what happened was uh, because coal mining started to go down no one was buying coal. Things were switching to petrol, uh, different oils. So they were like, they don't need the coal mining business no more. So they shut this place down in 1975 and it's been abandoned ever since. They just shut this place down and moved everyone off the island and it's been frozen in time and we're here right now exploring it. I haven't felt this feeling in my chest in a long time. You know, it's it's hard getting the places that are super rare nowadays and that feeling is a feeling I really love. So much debris. I feel like I'm gonna step on a nail. Right now we're going to the isolation ward here in the hospital. Just trying to find it. Oh my God. Lego blocks here. Unreal world that we're in. Don't even feel real. So just dumped all the chemicals from one area. That's all the, yeah, all the medicine stacked up. Look at this, two beds are stacked in this one small room. Again, there was over 5,000 people here, so everything, you know, was stacked and stiffed and everybody was kind of stuck together here. More bottles all made out of glass and they were used for all the chemicals and medicines and it's just really weird you can see like it's like the cardboard box they were on dissolved from all the wet water over the years it like melted onto the bottles itself and created a also just a huge mountain this is an incredible experience wow the sun's now coming out you can hear the birds chirping you won't find a place looking like this anywhere else in the world and I'm just totally grateful to see it. Just look how the how it's all run down and grungy. The buildings, the walls, the debris falling down. These are the old school toilets. Japanese used them. I tried to use one before. It was not pretty. ever played near automata this is exactly near automata it's a video game google it all right i'm outside now the first of many outside shots here's an overview of it i can't wait to get on the higher roofs and look down over everything I feel like a king here on the island <laughs> Gotta watch my head, I feel like something's gonna fall on me. Oh my gosh. I've never seen one this rusted out. Explorers, if you watch a lot of my videos, you would know right off the bat after seeing the surgery light that this is the operation room. Again, look at the tiles and the rust. All the sand coming in here through the strong winds from all the typhoons. Now, explorers, here's the deal. Obviously, there's so many of these buildings here. 
So, you know, there's hospitals, there's schools, there's apartment buildings, but they're all kind of visually the same. You can tell by all of them, they all just have this dark, grungy look. And the insides are so destroyed in all of them that everything kind of just looks and feels the same. And again, it's not actually really all about what's inside the buildings here. It's about being on this abandoned island, how to get here, the history, and just the whole vibe you get when you're here. For me, this is one of my top fan and favorite places on Earth. Just saying. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Now, I'm not gonna go inside every single building, but I am gonna look around. Like, I don't know what this one is. Looks like apartment buildings. And I know this one is definitely apartment buildings. Those are sliding doors with porches. But here is actually a famous street where people would go. Watch, you'll see what I mean. Obviously, you can see my homies down there right now. We're gonna walk this island. And we're gonna explore this whole city, the Forbidden City. But it is really cool. Really though, unbelievable. <laughs> This is definitely the apartment building. It's one of the biggest ones on the island. Can you imagine how much people this housed? What else I think is amazing is just the fact that I wonder how loud it was stuffing that many people in here. Like, can you imagine, you know, this was once like a little playground, your kid's playing here. Everyone can watch your kid play. There's like no privacy here at all, but it's still an amazing sight to see. Up, up on here was actually a small school with a slide we're gonna go check out. And behind me, this was actually the Miner's Spa. This is the only time I'll see a view like this ever in my life. So I'm taking it in while I still can. And I got the video here to look back on it. All right, so we're gonna head inside this building, the biggest, I think, apartment complex they have here. On the top floor, there was a, a little school. On the top floor, there was a school. I just can't get over that. There's a slide with a pool up top as well. That's not just leading us to victory right now. Wow. So yeah, this was all homes. All traditional homes. Look at that. Oh, a haircut? Barber? Dentist? Dentist chairs, really old school ones. Look at the rest on that. Yeah, dentist was right here. This was their office. You can't even really tell anymore, but Yo, Espionage knows this place inside out. <laughs> Check this out. I gotta go through one of these. This place is just stacked with apartments. But I really like it. It's very cozy, very small though. But it's traditional, nonetheless. Very dangerous to walk on. This is as far as I go. But just look at the view out there. Okay, our first sewing machine, something, something new. An old belonging. Wow. Old remains of kids' toys. Wow. <laughs> old guns. Again, this place, the layout of this building is like this. That, that, that. It's pretty much a square, but not fully finished. And you just walk through the whole thing, and it's just countless, just rooms. This one has some stuff inside. Oh, there's a doll there, in the sunlight. Oh my God.
this was a homemade doll, one you can't buy. Very weird. Super, super old, made out of like yarn. We're working our way all the way to the top. I'm gonna go find that little school in the slide. Very sunny. Very, very sunny. This was the nursery school we're in right here. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah, so guys, to be more specific, this was a nursery school. <laughs> you can just make out, that there was a wooden chalkboard. Never seen that. Obviously, there was something probably over it, but yeah. Right there was an old pond for the children. Can you imagine there's a pond up here on the top floor? One of the oldest little pool slides I've ever seen. I wonder how the water was filtered. Dan's about to get his picture taken by Espinage, who's like over there. Oh, I don't like this, bro. <laughs> oh. You're okay, man. Oh. It's good for the grams. I got no clue where we are now, but we're in like tunnels. Oh, first time. Oh, first time you've been here? Uh, uh, water reflection. Oh, first time. oh. Yeah. Yeah, he came here a lot, but he never seen. Oh, I see. Yeah, the reflection in the water. Yeah, Smaj loves to take photos. Yeah, he gets like every photo in this whole island. Okay. Espinosa is now taking us to the barber. Uh, Through there? Yeah. Inside? Inside? Inside. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Back in here. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Obviously things could get dangerous. If you just seen, I almost... I, I did fall, pretty much, sort of. Landed on like these wood things, knocked the wood over. Wood ended up hitting Espinosa's leg. But imagine if that was the support system for like this right here. Then I would have knocked that down, the ledge would have fell on me. That's what you gotta watch out for. I usually never fall or trip, but sometimes you let your guard down. Now I just remembered not to let my guard down. Oh, wow. That is sick. A lot of like mold and stuff down here, but this is cool. Wow. Espinage, do you know how to cut her? Can you, cut you, her? you have good <laughs> hair, Espinage. Good hair. <laughs> oh man. Hey, that's the hair salon thing to dry your hair, or when you get your hair dyed, all that kind of good stuff. You know, if you get really close up to this chair, you can see the amount of dust is on that chair. At least like a few little inches is on the armrest. Keep in mind that this was a fully sustainable living area. This was a, uh, a dedicated spot. I mean, you're gonna have everything. You're gonna have the haircutting place. You're gonna have supermarkets, restaurants, entertainment sections. Everything was here. Uh, destroyed now. Espinosa just said that underground here, that was a pachinko, guys. Underground there. Dude, you already know, there are pachinkos everywhere in Japan, even the smallest places. They won't even be a food market, they'll replace it with a pachinko. Later on guys, we're gonna be going up these stairs. These are famous stairs in the island that brings you, this stair will bring you all the way to the top of the whole island at the highest point. And this is called the Jikogodan Hell Stair. Oh. Famous street? Wow. Yeah, I know this street too. Vegetable. Vegetable? Oh, fresh market, yeah, fisherman's yeah, area, and this was also a famous street. <sighs> it's insane because it was a famous street, but just look at it now. I mean, that's what mind boggles me. Oh my god. That is amazing. 
Oh my God, that's an insane view. I've never seen a view like that, dude. It's in, it's magnificent. That's what it is. What the hell? We did say Jurassic Park a lot for some of the spots we did, but I think this is a true Jurassic Park. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe this. Yeah. Whoa, that sun. So, so we nicknamed this place God's Alley. I mean, the beam of light. Oh, it just went away. Oh no, you can still see it. But there's a beam of light just coming into this alleyway with this rain. It's not even raining outside, but it wants to rain in God's Alley. And I'm with that. The picture in the slow motion came out good. Another one. Wow. Look at that chair. Explorers, you're gonna really love abandoned places to wanna come here. The amount of sweat and tears and everything it takes to come here, the money, the, um, the dangers is all here. And again, what's awesome is like, we love all of it. We love taking photos. And for us, this is like the best thing we could ever do with our lives. And that's why it's gonna surround yourself with these people. Urban exploring is amazing. It's a long way down, explorers. What we're pretty much doing right now is just looking at like the view from above at different areas because each different area has like so many different like concrete buildings that just form a nice shape for photos. Like right here. We were down there flying the drone. But from above it just looks awesome. So, so right now we're looking at the live camera that's here and there's some sort of antenna. You clearly can see it though. It's above on a roof. So in the corner right there. It's just a whole maze of zigzag and different ways to go. I mean, look down here. These are crushed. Right now we're taking a break. This would, uh, Espinage calls this like a safety zone, meaning no cameras, no sounds, no audio detectors. Uh, what am I, I'm missing all this stuff. There's even lasers. Apartments, apartments, and more apartments. I mean, you can see your next door neighbor like only 10 feet away. And then you can see your, you, I mean, yo, if you're arguing with someone, they're gonna hear you all around the whole block. The views are just getting better and better as we go through. At the moment, we're heading to a jail. But then after the jail, we're going to a temple, a school, a movie theater. We're still hitting up everything. This is an eight hour non-stop explore. Apparently the jail's over here. This whole building's falling apart though. Oh, whoa. Oh my God. No way. The jail's made out of wood. It's a wooden jail. I've never seen this before. And it had, dude, this is like totally medieval times. Look at the locks on that thing. Look at the lock in general, guys. The whole thing is deteriorating so hard. So hard. Can it even open? It's still sealed up. Is there any more jails like that? That is, that took me by surprise. Check over here. I gotta be careful. There's another floor, it looks like. So I'm looking to see. There's another jail cell. My God. You know, you can't tell me this is not like near Automata. You can't. You just, this is, this is literally it. Google that game. This? Yeah. <laughs> We're standing on a movie theater, guys. <laughs> it's now Rebels. <laughs> how, how did it fall? Yeah. How? Natural? Uh, natural? Um, mama, mama, mama. Hurricane. And, uh, Wave. Oh, All big right. wave. Whoa. Big wave. Oh, wow. wow. Wave came big over wave. the wall, yeah. smashed this building, took out that Super building. 
Yeah, and no, not tsunami. Not tsunami. Just big wave. But, uh, big wave. Oh, <laughs> we're making our way to the temple. But geez, imagine falling down through that. Okay, this is a very quick one to show you. Check that out. That is insane. The fact that the whole building got destroyed, but yeah, Buddha stays. I don't know who put these here, but they could have been here for a long time. At the moment, there's a tourist boat that's kind of going around. You could, you could do a tour. You can't get on the island, but you could take a boat and it takes you around here. So bad. So you can hear that. So many. So there for the tourists, they're allowed only at one section. I'll show you. Right there. So the trick to getting around here is by going through buildings and cutting through the maze-like areas for the alleyways. Because if not, you're gonna get seen. And if you get seen, well then we're in big trouble. <laughs> and Espinal's just fighting all the spiders. This is the Wonder Bowl in English. Espinal says that there's lasers outside of here, so we stay in at all times, but we're inside the school now. I thought it was offices at first. Yeah, that's a nice one. test the structural stability of the building. So it basically could detect vibrations within the building which could detect it falling down. So if we, if we shake the box, then it's all over for all no, of us? No, no, it's the, it's the device. It's measured by vibrations. So shaking it wouldn't work. Um, but if you maybe put your phone on it and put the buzzer on, the, the vibrate, then it'd go haywire. They'd think the whole place is closed. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> Speaking of the orange box, here it is again. The school view. I went up and down through different of the buildings at the schools and this is the best one I found so far. We actually have a wooden desk still left here. Don't exactly know what that is, but then this is awesome. I mean, this is where the chalkboard would actually be right here. It's crazy how back in the day, everything was kind of like filled up with hay. Didn't matter what it was, whether a chair, a pillow, a bed, everything, even a doll, it was all filled up with hay. Yeah, yeah. Back in high school, oh, not high school, actually in ninth grade still, <laughs> but back in the day, I, I straight up really did sat in the corner. Like I was sent, I was the naughty kid. Were you? To be honest, yeah. I, <laughs> I was, yeah. I think everyone with like a YouTuber have a magic in mind, so they kind of get distracted by normal things yeah. and stuff, so yeah. Oh dude, I, I was always daydreaming too, too, bro. Like, but I was always distracting other kids because I could see them, they were concentrating, I couldn't. Uh -huh. So I remember distracting them. Oh my God, dude, something. I'm the same way. Check out Battleship Tours. There he is right there. You can hear it really loud. It's gonna come on the island as well. Old record player. So I was just given news that this was the gym. And downstairs where that tiger uh, graffiti was, that was like, a, like their lunchroom. Oh man, guys. As of right now, all of our energies are getting low. We're sweating so bad out here. We're running out of water now. There's only so much you can carry when you're trying to make a movie out here. You got the drones, the lenses, everything. Uh, tripod and everyone. You, everyone's energy level is pretty low. We woke up at three in the morning. Uh, got here for like four or something. It's been insane. Well, what do you know? All the desks were stored in the top floor. Would have missed this. It's a hand, a fist. You know, what goes through my mind is like the fact that how many people actually lived here. You know, their whole lives were here. 
Imagine, imagine growing up on this island as a kid, growing up to, to, to like being 18 on this island. I don't even know if this was, there was just a pachinko here. There was no Sega. You know, I don't know, I don't know. I just don't understand like, it's just weird to like make a living out of this place. But it's just crazy how the fact that it's all for coal. It's why you got those ghost towns in the United States, for the mines. They built these towns just for the mines. When the mines are done, they ditch it and it becomes a ghost town. And this is just a very slimmer thing. And it's just, I don't know, to me it's just so weird. It's <laughs> something though, I would definitely love to come back in time and walk these streets and see how it used to look. Like, I would do anything for that. It would, it would be incredible. Oh, check out this. Yo, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, that stage is cool. I don't know what was over there, but I think it spelled love within, with some kind of anime face. So right before we end today's video, we're gonna run up the stairs like we said in the beginning. We're gonna try to go as fast as we can, as high as we can, uh, because, well, the, the, the boat comes in 30 minutes, so I gotta go up there, see what we can, and I gotta end this video. Up to the yeah, stairs of hell or something like that. I forgot what I said. Let's go. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. There's live cameras, but captain's coming. I can go to the top. This is too risky. Oh, yeah. See what you can see. A place that you can't see anywhere else. This shrine temple. Oh, God. Very risky. I already see the cameras, but we did it. Awesome. So this is as far as we can go. This was the temple shrine. We seen it, nothing crazy. No stones really left. Just that one. And now, I've already been spotted on the camera. Just depends if they were actually watching. But whatever, I gotta get out of here now. Guys, we did it. After two years of wanting to come here, with bad luck and different factors making me not able to come here, I finally got here. I was only here for a total of six hours. In those six hours, I could have stayed here for like 48 hours and got the craziest video ever. But we did what we could in six hours. We got the drones, we got some cinematics, and I did the best walkthrough I possibly could in that amount of time. Believe me, it was hard. All in all, this was an amazing achievement for me, mentally, physically, all this stuff, my check mark list of abandoned places and now checked off. There's like two left I kind of want to do. It's remaining a secret until I can actually get to them. But this one's finally done. If it wasn't for Espinaz, I would not be able to come here. He's like the G, the OG, the God, the legend. His link in the description down below, his Instagram. Uh, check him out, he does amazing pictures and he's one of the most OG explorers I know in the world. So, big thanks to him. Uh, but yeah, I have uh, 30 minutes here and pretty much I'm just gonna vibe out on the roof and just completely chill out. No filming, no nothing, maybe some meditation. But this is a great spot and it was a great opportunity to come here and we risked it all to get here. We put in the work, we did it all. So this is where we end today's video. Rise above, just get out there and explore. Peace and thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget, this windbreaker is for sale and so is all my other cool merch. Uh, riseabove.shop, check it out. Link is also in the description down below. I mean, this is uh, my epic hoodie, the Urbex hoodie. Got the cool Rise Above uh, sleeve thing right there. Rise Above here, and Rise Above in the back with the dopest design. And I'm here in Japan rocking it. Okay, enough with the advertisements, but you get what I mean. Those uh, things you buy, it helps, you know, supports these trips. Just saying, peace out.